I'm Tanya Tate, I'm here at PowerCon and I'm exhibiting. I have a cosplay blog and I do a lot of like toy reviews so I like to like have loads of like geeky stuff on it so it's a whole lot of fun. Um, just before I come to PowerCon I was doing a lot of um, reviews on the pop vinyls because I like to collect a lot of them. Um, He-Man, She-Ra, Hordak, Skeletor, oh and I've done a, um, a disco Skeletor so it was like a, a limited edition so that was like really really cool but I do a lot of the conventions you know I've been to San Diego Comic Con, um, Long Beach Comic Con, Wonder Con Kamikaze, so there's quite a few that I've been to and it's funny you know because a lot of the fans say to me oh Tanya you should do your own character so I was like really should I so I thought okay I'm gonna do my own character and um, I come up with um, Lady Titan so it's kind of like a strong female character but this one is gonna be more like 1970s kind of like influence so it's more along the lines of where she finds a suit and she puts a suit on and then suddenly she has these like powers from the suit that she didn't realize that she's got this like amazing strength. So the story is going to unfold and it's all about like the blunders and the things that she's going to come across with some comedy in it. And um, how is she going to get on with her crime fighting? That is the question. So that's going to be, um, I'm going to be bringing that out as a comic book. Um, but first, before we do the Lady Titan comic book, I'm actually bringing out a final figure. So, um, here she is, Lady Titan. This is the very first prototype. It's actually in production at the moment. And um, it's going to be coming all the way from China. <laughs> so, um, once we've got a production date, it's going to be going on a Kickstarter. So, um, you will be able to get this as a blank figure. So, it's going to come in white, skin color. And there's going to be some limited edition runs on green and brown so you'll be able to get it you can do your own artwork you know a lot of like people want to like make their own character so this is my character so we're going to be doing a limited run on the lady titan so i'm excited so um it's going to be on kickstarter closer to the time and of course my kickstarter is tiny tate so <laughs> my profile's there if any of them want to go and take a look so i'm excited for that so this is the actual, um, like the, the first version, the cartoon character of Lady Titan. So I brought some posters with me today. So some of the fans have been coming and getting signed posters from me. And I've been giving these out as the card. So that's the one side of the card. And it's really good this because you turn it over and um, there's actually me cosplaying as Lady Titan. So um, I wore this just a couple of times now. So whole lot of fun so I've had a lot of people coming up to me I've been telling them all about it so a whole lot of exciting stuff going on so coming back to PowerCon this is the third year that I've been here you know this show it's kind of like relatively small but, but that makes it even better because at least we like I know everyone so coming back this year it's like hi so I know like a lot of the guests a lot of the exhibitors and a lot of the fans are coming back as well so it's it's really like everyone's like really really friendly hi i can see kiss <laughs> how are you what's up <laughs> that's good to cost you <laughs> i'll have to go and check that out soon see that see what i said about everybody being so friendly it's um it's a very friendly convention and it's nice it's like really chilled out the fans are really nice and the people are really nice and um, this year I got to stay over and last year I had to drive back home and it's like an hour's drive and drive back again in the morning so this time we stayed over so we got to have a few cocktails last night so but not too many mind you because I still had to get off and <laughs> make myself look beautiful for the day I was in San Diego I think it was in 2009 and I saw like a load of people and they were all dressed up as like these superheroes I was like oh my god what is going on someone said to me San Diego Comic Con I was like wow so the next year I was actually in LA at the time of the 2010 San Diego Comic Con so I thought you know I think I'm gonna do that so um, it, it was something really that wasn't so well known in England and you know it didn't seem to be so big and I, I didn't really hear of these conventions so I was like you know what am I gonna do so um, 
Emma Frost is one of my favorite characters and I found a really sexy, cute Emma Frost costume online and um, I went and bought it and I took myself to San Diego Comic Con and it was just amazing. Like people were just stopping you in the street before you even get there. It's like, can I take your picture, can I take your picture? And I was like, wow, this is fun. People want to take a picture of me with my clothes on. <laughs> okay, this is, this, it was really nice. So um, when I got back from the convention, um, I put some pictures up online and um, people were like, well, they really liked them. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll do a little blog. So the blog started just a lot of Tanya and um, so I put the pictures up on there and people were going mad for it. So it just kind of like grew from a passion, you know, it was something that I wanted to do and I realised people enjoyed me doing it. So from there it kind of grew, you know, um, I started to do things like, as well as go to conventions like review some of the toys that I collected, so do like little reviews and I put them on my YouTube channel, Tanya Tate Tube. And, um, I just started putting stuff up and it, it was just stuff that I liked, stuff that I wanted to like, hey, look at this and let's do the unboxing of it. Because, you know, if you want to find out about something, you put it in, you see the picture. The picture's not always so good, you know, you want to see the item turn around, what packaging does it come in, so I thought, oh, I might as well share it. And um, from there I do like a lot of reviews, like pop, pop figures, animation, oh my God, Disney, <laughs> it's like, I do like loads of things, even like I have like a hammer horror collection because I love all the old horror. I'm a bit scared of the new stuff because it's too real. <laughs> but I like a lot of like the old hammer horror, like hammer glamour. And so um, it just grew from there really. I mean, when I was younger, I did have a love like the superheroes and comics. You know, the first movie that I ever remember seeing that was superhero based was Superman 2. And I was like, and I, so I kind of like grew up on Superman and like I remember the Hulk and you know, David Banner, it was so sad, the music at the end, you, you know, I can remember watching that when I was a kid <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon, we did get it in England. So, uh, you, you know, and suddenly to like be part of like the community that are embracing it, you know, the, I think there was a time somewhere where it was like too geeky, if you know what I mean, to like say, oh, Superman or you know like Wonder Woman we watched Wonder Woman we had Batman the original adventures you know with Catwoman and it's just to say oh I like it it was like you, you seem to be a bit boring at some point you know you got kind of like that label but um it, we're not boring we like it <laughs> and suddenly it's like it's cool again to say you know you do like that kind of stuff